All right, what's going on guys? Uh, after hundreds of comments, hundreds of bloody emails, DMs on Instagram and uh, messages, we're finally back. We're coming back. The videos are gonna be starting again. Yeah, we haven't really been doing much in the shed. Nothing's really been happening. Bird dog, still on the hoist, waiting for the diff to be repaired. And um, got the hound dog in here, but hound dog's back in the shed. Got buddy, Matty VK's Bel Air is also in here, getting some rust repair. Actually, that's like the only thing we've done really. I can't even get a good video, but he fixed all his floor, welded a new floor panning. I did weld in for him. So, um, yeah, not much, not much has been happening here. Uh, last, you know, few weeks, few months. It's been, it's been months. I actually looked and I'm like, well, yeah, it's been months since we've done a video. So, yeah, we probably should get back into it. Um, it's been working, working flat out. We've got a new job. So, um, something a bit different. And um, as you can see in the in the work kit still got the the haircut barber's got covid so um still waiting to get a haircut but uh yeah i thought today you know we'll come back out in the shed back on the hound dog pretty much the same as we left it if you uh watch the old videos on the hound dog um yeah all these rear section remember when we made all that weld, welded all that up a while ago but um yeah it's been sitting been sitting out outside for a while so as you can see it's um what used to be bare metal is now um, pretty rusty, but um, yeah, we got we got a few new things. Well, I've got a TIG welder now, because I can actually, uh, the last six months, I learned how to TIG weld, and I'm not too bad, I'm not too bad, but um, learning alley welding as well soon, TIG welding, alley TIG welding at, um, at work soon, so that'll be good. And uh, better make all our, um, all our charge piping and um, intercooler piping and um, exhaust manifolds and all that sort of stuff, so. Yeah, it'd be really good when I can uh, do that. For today's episode, I thought, you know, we'll get sucked back into something, an OG project, the old hound dog. So I don't know what, what I'm really gonna do yet, but um, as like all of our projects, what needs to be done, so still got no floor in it. We need to get a bit more sheet metal so I can start making a tunnel and a floor. But I can't remember what the last episode on this was. I think we put the roof in, that's an XP Falcon roof. Just got a little bit of hate for that, but it's pretty funny. Um, we, we actually made this whole rear section. If you remember when we got it, if you go back to the old videos, that whole rear section was missing. That uh, HG, rolled that up myself. So now it looks sort of like a hot rod. Um, oh, maybe putting the front suspension in. That was that might have been the last episode. We made our own. Um, they're actually <laughs> those spring. These springs are off a trailer, and we've uh, adapted them to this chassis but i think for today i'm just gonna do a bit more i think there's still a bit of rust repair that needs to be done but um still a few bits of uh mine a little rust there which I might do today oh, that's gonna be well up too but the actual plan for this is we gotta take the we're gonna take the cab off could also probably could probably do that as well but we got oh we got oxy as well and, um I mean a plasma cutter. We've got a plasma cutter now, so TIG and a plasma cutter. So moving up in the world a little bit. But we need to cut the um, these big things that hold the body onto the chassis so we can take the um, take the body off and get to the chassis and see it's only um it's only C channel. We've got to plate it in if we want it to actually be strong, but the rear diff is actually mounted. Yeah, that's about it. Been doing a bit of work. On Maddie's car, trying to get that um that ready for a roadworthy. Uh, yeah, we put new floor pans in the back, painted the floor, bit of rust repair, as you can see. But not a lot of work being going on the shed. Um, the old the old bird dog still waiting for a bit of love. But um, this is where all my time's been going lately. This old girl, Hilux, if you remember from really old episodes when this thing was um. Billy Bob was driving that thing, but um, yeah, it's got a winch on it now. Look at that. Pretty flush. So, yeah, that's what I've been driving around and full wheel driving in. So, anyway, I'll stop rambling on and um, yeah, I'll do some work on this thing. Yeah, I found a bit of shitty old sheet metal. Since we are, we're out of our big sheets. That's the last, that's the last of what we really got. Yeah, I'll get stuck into this and talk about what's been going on. Oh, so got our 
<laughs> template here. Whenever you're cutting these out, you want to try and keep them um, the same as how they come out. But this one, yeah, not much really left of it. So um, it's gonna have to try and uh, remake that out of that. Oh, even the right size. All right, I've cut it out in two bits here. They're pretty, pretty close. You can't really see. They're, they're pretty close. Looks like it needs a little bit of a. Can't really tell on camera. It needs a little bit of a bend in it. So I'll put that into it, and then I think it's going to be a matter of just slowly trimming it up the um, with the grinder and the flap disc. So it's a bit, a bit, a bit of a tricky shape. Put curve in it. Um, I'll get the big one on, tacked on, and then same sort of deal with this one. Just slowly mark it and um, work it out with the grinder with the, with the flap disc. So we'll do that. All right, quick little tip here before I weld this in. Um, I forget which way it goes, but if you're trying to juggle this thing and you can't find your magnets because the shed looks like a bomb's going off in it, um, you can tack a bit of this shit on like that, so you can actually um, you can actually hold it up against there, sort of not have to try and work it up and hold it with two hands, two fingers. And, yeah. Anyway, I'll show you in a sec. All right, now that you got your bit of scrap fucking <laughs> scrap tacked on there, as you can see, I can easily, in theory, hold up my bit of thing here a lot easier. But uh, yeah, it's pretty close. Just gotta sit here and trim it away slowly with the flap disc and have a bit of patience. And as you can see, I got a little bit of bend in there. Just um, sat on there and pushed it pretty easy. So. Yeah, that's, that's looking pretty close, so trim that up real quick. Right, so this is what I mean by um, it makes it a bit easier. So you can hold up your, your bit like that, see what needs to come off. And just... And then instead of mucking around, you can just hold it straight back up there and go, oh yeah, that little bit needs to come out a bit more. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. There's a bit off this end. And yeah, so forth and so forth. Right, now they've got that all tacked in. A little bit of gap there, but uh, nothing a welder of my caliber can't, can't handle. So I thought I'd stop before I do this next one and just talk about what's going on for the future and yeah, what's on for the rest of the year. All right, so the future this year. So everyone's probably wondering um, about Drag Challenge in America. Um, I can confirm we are we are heading over to America this year. We are um, we're organising all that now. You might have saw saw on um, David Newburn's post. Um, if you know him in the states, I'll put it, I'll put it on screen now. But um, he actually the one of Dad's good mates in the states hangs out with Finnegan and all that. So he um, he went and got Steve-O from where it was. Um, where it was been stored and um, he got it out and he's getting it ready. You think he's already gotten it ready? He's just done a bit of a basic arm, um, you know, um, look over the car and he's getting it ready for us. So when we fly over, it should be um, pretty much ready to go. So that's exciting. That's um, September. So yeah, we're trying to get ourselves all sorted for then so we can go over and actually, um, yeah, we'll actually be able to get some footage, some really good um, content for you. So that's definitely something to look forward to. We also have um, Australian Drag Australian drag Challenge, end of October. So we've got to figure out what car we're even taking to that. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. Pop, pop, pop is probably going to come out at this stage. If I can get off my ass and um, pull my finger out, my car might be there. And um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So bit to look forward to. I don't know what's gonna happen in the next um, few weeks. It's been really cold. Um, as you can see, I'll jump it up, got four layers on. So yeah, it's been, been really cold. Um, you know, minus four, going to work in the morning is not very fun, but um, my new job, I'm only working until 3.30. So I do have a bit of time uh, later in the day to actually come out in the shed and do something, which I've been doing, just nothing, uh, nothing exciting, just, um, my own full drive and um, just boring stuff. But um, yeah, I want to get back into it. It's been a long time, obviously. Um, just been real busy working. I'm still, 
I'm still studying my um, certificate three in engineering, so fabrication, that sort of thing. So going to TAFE, second year now. That's what I've been doing. Dad's working today, actually. It's why he's not in this video, if you did notice. Um, he's working. He's been working um, seven days a week. So um, yeah, no, he has no much time. He works, you know, early till f six. So no time for him. He gets home in the dark, and uh, yeah, it's cold by then. So there hasn't been much. Um, hasn't been much motivation to get out in the shed, and um, we haven't really been doing anything. We need to uh, get a turbo for that thing. That'll be good to go. I've got a, I've got a weld on the diff up, but that's only, you know, an arvo. And we could have that thing going and ready to go again. So, but I thought, you know, drag the hound dog back in here because we got to um, got to do something. But um, yeah, this thing's not too far off as well. Another thing to do. Yeah, another thing I had to talk about, we have got a new Aussie Cheval, um, New, new, new Aussie Chevelle design coming out. I'm um, a t-shirt, I'm pretty sure it is. So um, I'll put that on screen, the little sketch that um, Ryan's done for us. So that'll be uh, ready before we go to America. So keep an, keep an eye out for that. That'll be um, that'll be pretty cool. But um, we do have jumpers left still, if you want a hound dog jumper for these cold winters. We also got beanies as well still. So if we can try and sell all them before the new design comes in, that'll be good, help us um, Pay for our America trip because that's um, the conversion rate's pretty pretty harmful. Um, it's only it was down to like sixty cents to to one Australian dollar. So, but until then, we're going to be doing uh, boring boring usual stuff. So, yeah. All right, I just had another really good idea. Like magnet on a stick. Look at this. That might be even better than my last tip I gave. So. <laughs> A little bit gappy, but uh, I'll be able to fill that to my pro and weld the rest of that out. I don't know about these little ones here. These ones, um, these ones might be staying. They're a little bit uh, too small, so yeah, we'll see about them ones. But um, weld this out real quick. But gonna make sure we don't put too much heat into it at once, or else it'll warp. Which looks like that's what's happened back there when I weld the other one. But um, yeah, I'll weld this and yeah, we'll see what's next. All right, as you can see, all tacked up. Uh, if you wanted to do it properly, uh, you would do a few tacks and then uh, sit there with the air boy and um, Cool, cool the material down and then do a few more tacks and um, you know keep cooling it down. But as you can see, the heat affected area there, I've gone a little bit quick, but um, it's only my, it's only our car, so it doesn't really, what it is doesn't really worry me. But uh, if I was doing something else, you'd uh, take a bit more time, a bit more patience. That's the biggest thing with uh, doing these panels is patience and uh, not rushing the welding and uh, doing this. But um, that's done. Another bit of rust ticked off this, so. I might um, finish finish just welding up this door, as you can see, and that'll be done. And then I reckon I was, I'm not sure we're gonna do with these um, these steps yet. I'll have to have a bit of a think about that. And all through here is pretty um pretty rotten, but um, I think the other side I've already done. Oh yeah, they're all done. Now his ones are done. So that's about all the body rust, I think. So we just got to figure out what we're going to do with our, um, what would you even call them? Side steps, side skirts. What would you even call them? So I'll weld this up, but I'll take me time. Because actually, I'll get up again. I can get up again. Let's look at the other door. You can sort of see that this one was a bit rushed. So we'll see it's pulled in a little bit. So I'll take me time on this other door and hopefully uh, won't heat warp it. So I'll try that. All right, so I just uh, recorded about five minutes worth of footage, but uh, my phone was storage was full. So it's annoying, but anyway, uh, I just want to talk about everything I just talked about again. So, door is welded. Those little holes are all welded up. So, as far as the body goes, I 
think it's all pretty much rust free now. Well, rust free. Well, looks rust free anyway. But um, yeah, we are a bit ready to cut off the body with the pliers next time and plate our C channel chassis in with some thick plate so it's a bit stronger and it will handle all the power that come out of this thing. So, what do we need? Need a fuel tank, floor, firewall, uh, tail shaft, battery. That's about it, I reckon. And then the boot is somewhere. Oh, I've no idea where that is. I'm gonna find that. But as far as the body goes, I think it's pretty well, pretty well there. So. Let us know what you want to see in the next episode. Sorry this one wasn't very entertaining, but I thought I'd um, let you just know what's going on and um, give you, just give you a bit of an update. Uh, we haven't, yeah, we haven't been in the shed at all. So yeah, let us know. Leave a comment what you want to see in the next episode. Um, give us a bit of, give us some ideas, sort of, and uh, what cars you want to see. Give us a bit of insight. Um, oh, Steve, soon we'll uh, soon we'll be in America. So. Uh, Stevo content. So if you go back to the one of the very first, I think the first few episodes are actually all um, from our America trip, what like three, four year ago, 2019. So yeah, three years ago. So the the video quality is not very good. They're they're still good to watch, but um, yeah, the production quality's come a long way since then. Um, the confidence behind the camera, that sort of thing. So. Yeah, leave a comment. Um, let us know what we should do. What cars you want to see? Got a bit of shit, so pop as well. Let us know if you want to see pop. Get pop going. Um, buy a hoodie. Sort help us out. Give us some money to go to America. Uh, beanies. It's cold as so. Been wearing mine every day. Pretty good beanie. Can't go wrong. So um, yeah. Sorry for the boring episode. Hopefully the next one's a bit more exciting and. Um, Try and get Dad in the next one when he's not working. But yeah, leave a comment, let us know. Hope you enjoyed and uh, try and get some, hopefully at least once a week would be the bare minimum <laughs> of an episode. Um, try and get some content going, but we will have a lot more in the later parts of the year. When yeah, drag, drag challenges come around, the Australian and the um, American one. So lots of content to come, just the, month or two in between will be like the rest of them but hopefully we're going to get something out so you, i can stop getting messaged every day i mean it's good it means people actually want to watch this for whatever reason but yeah thanks for the support thanks for waiting waiting for the terrible content to come back it will try our best to uh yeah get something going but um yeah, thanks for watching grab a hoodie links are all in the description and uh yeah we'll see you on the next one